Welcome to Top Beers Review of Sadler's Beers, who are associated with our current venue, the Windsor Castle in Lye. The Windsor Castle in Lye is the Sadler's Brewery Tapas. The brewery itself was established in 1900 by Nathaniel Sadler and has been passed down through the family to its current fifth generation brewer, Chris Sadler. Since reopening in 2004, the brewery and tapas have become a thriving family run microbrewery, serving award winning ales and fresh homemade food. The top beer crew could not pass up a chance to visit the winter and sample four beers from the Sadler's vast range, rating their appearance, the smell, the taste, the aftertaste, and the drinkability, meaning how likely it would be that we would choose to drink it again. We scored each area out of 5 with a total out of 25. Please bear in mind these scores are our own verdict based on the beer we were served at the time. First to be sampled was the JPA. All three of us enjoyed this pale ale, although only one of us could smell the citra hops quite clearly. We all agree that this is a session ale with a great aftertaste of grapefruit. Although it has the same colour of a regular lager, this is quite deceiving as the taste is very much of a bitter. It was very drinkable and scored highly across four of the categories. We next sampled Peaky Blinder, a black IPA that scored full marks from all of us for the taste. A strong chocolatey flavour and an aftertaste of a high quality coffee. It also scored maximum marks for the drinkability as we all agree that this is one ale that we will very much drink again. Onto the third drink from our selection called Red IPA. The appearance is red amber in colour, as you may have guessed by the name, with a decent white head. During the three of us we failed to detect much of a smell, however Sadler has described the aroma as having a citrus, grapefruit and vanilla nose. The captain loved the taste of this one, very hoppy in flavour with a subtle taste of citrus. It had a medium body with a slightly oily texture and just the right amount of carbonation. Overall we gave it 14 out of 25. However, our failure to detect the aroma on this visit contributes to this lower scoring. The beer itself is delightful and one to try. As the captain said, we could have easily have drank this one all day and we'll be definitely having it again. So, onto the final beer which is a personal favourite of mine and the one that gained the most points from the top beer crew out of the four chosen Sadler's Ales. Mud City Stats. The initial appearance of this beer is very pleasing to the eye, pulling a deep dark chestnut brown with a tan head, which unfortunately didn't stay for long. This affected the appearance score a little. However, we did rate it an impressive 4.6. Chocolate, charcoal and vanilla seemed to dominate the smell, and this was mirrored as well in the taste with the added extras of coffee and sweet toffee. It has a rich, smooth and creamy body leading on to a flavoursome malty aftertaste, which has you raising your glass once again for another sip. With all this in mind, it is no wonder we gave a top score of 5 in the last 3 areas of taste, aftertaste and drinkability. Overall, we rated this lovely beer 22.3 out of 25 and rightfully so. As beers go, Mud City Stout adds a new twist on the original stats and we would highly recommend you seek this one out and give it a go yourself. During our time at the Windsor, the top beer crew were made to feel very welcome by both staff and other patrons. We were beneficial in procuring an interview with a regular customer called Lyndon, who also engaged his father Pete into the conversation. Unfortunately, as Top Beer do not have the financial wherewithal for a top of the range filming kit, we apologise for the obvious background noise during the film, when the winds are getting busier during lunchtime. Sunday, sometimes on the way we get the guys who go and bring him out on Sunday. Uh, what do you drink? It's a really lovely beer, Ellie. Well, yeah, it's nice. The coffee? It's a good atmosphere in the place, and uh, we've got this nice meal out pub that I like. We've got one or two uh, variations on the bitters. I like the, the, uh, the Alpha Bomb, but I, I like the uh, new one as well. The Boris is The Boris. So what, what are your favourite beers? Mine's mine is hot one. Mine is Irish actually. What 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 yeah, what type of beers do you prefer then? I like hoppy beers. Um, I like something with a bit of flavour. Yeah. Something that's really nice and got the got the, the body to it as well. Um, I love that. Hops likes 
Kalau the Falcon. The Boris. The Boris because it's a fruity flavour. Citrus. Citrus. How would you recommend the wings end of the plate? I recommend it every time. For what? For what? I recommend it because, um, what, from my experience in other pubs, is uh, this is a family pub. It's great to be in the kids' home. Not just that, it's that the service the pub gives. Is they go with that extra mile. That's what they That actually uh, do something different to other pubs. I mean, when, when our grand servant Louis come round, the kids love it. They love the atmosphere. They get extra special treatment. Not just that. I mean, I've been my family all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. we have we have meals here and with the food is brilliant. It's just the atmosphere of the book. It's, it's just an old black country. And that's what we need to come back into this If you could change one thing about the music, what would you play for you? The toilets. Why? You need a better flush. That's the only thing, yeah? I'm joking. Well, you were on the end. You were on the end. I'm just winding up now. He needs another flush on the toilet. We could do it a bit more comfort. I mean, I like to say that I'm a good friend. It's not like golf. It's just a bar. Walking, walking is different to see that. If you can't, it's because you've got a good day. You need to see the movie Jewish this, this area here is set out for the dining. Uh, I do not the idea See you in a chair, Pops. More chairs. Yeah. <laughs> you got all these high chairs. Yeah. He wants a couch. Well, Can I also say on this video that he needs to start paying for this beer? <laughs> oh, send that to the world. <laughs> we'll all see that now, yeah. <laughs> Because he realises I have a tab in here. So everything was on my time. Not everything. He has, he's brought one today. But now the whole world knows you have a tenor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Winter, 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 Inn. Well, Winter, Winter Castle, sorry. <laughs> Linden's <laughs> town. <laughs> Add on to it. <laughs> Anyone <laughs> wants food, beer, yeah. Linden's town. You're going to have a little bit of fun. I'll find that. <laughs> It's been an absolute pleasure, really thank you for uh, that. Is that what you are Yeah, thank you for your time, I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Our top beer mystery crew member, The Swig, was sent an invite to join us for this review. However, as we discovered, The Swig's internal navigation system failed him, and he ended up visiting a more famous Windsor Castle north of the border. A member of the public, who wishes to remain anonymous, exposed his whereabouts with this small video clip. Some say he is powered by steam, and the house alarms go off when he is close by. All we know is, he's called The Swig. <laughs>